everyone, my name is Emily and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I actually have my mom here with me. Say hi mom. Hi mom. <laughs> so um, my mom's not really used to doing things like this, uh, being on camera or I guess in this case just speaking on camera. So be nice and be friendly, and, but she's happy to be here. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the painting before we get into the tag. So it's basically the mother-daughter tag, and we have a couple questions we're going to answer back and forth between one another. Uh, the painting is of this fat, chubby bunny with a little hat on it, and the quote on his body is something my mom actually said. Uh, she had these two cute little pairs of bunnies, and I took a picture a long time ago of me playing with them and posted them on Facebook, and she commented saying, you leave my bunnies alone. You hurt a bunny, you go to jail. It's the law. So that's kind of one of my favorite mom quotes. So I figured it would be very fitting to do that while recording today. So this is the image you'll be looking at as we answer these questions. So let's go ahead and get started. The first question is favorite memory of the other person. Okay, my favorite memory is the day she was born, of course, and the first time, first time I held her in her Elvis hair. But a really good memory is the first time we took her to Disneyland at 18 months old and we took her back every single year until she was 18 years old <laughs> and turned her into a Disney addict. I, and I continued that tradition even after they stopped taking me yep. when I had my own job and everything. I it's our home taking. away from home. Yep. We are Disney whores. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, you'll probably get a lot of this. My favorite memory of my mother, there's so many, but my favorite is probably, um, I went to a summer camp and this girl was picking on me. She wanted to play with my toy that I had and I didn't really want to let her. So she actually kind of beat me up. She dug her nails into my shoulders until I let her play with my toys. So mom saw the nail digging and you know asked what happened and I said, oh, this girl's picking on me and taking my toys. So she came and picked me up from the camp and was waiting outside the little classroom that where we are were and she was asking, okay, who is it? Which one is it? And I said, oh, it's that girl. My mom went up and was like, did you do this to my daughter? Did you hurt my daughter? Did you put hands on my daughter? And this girl's just being such a little fucking see you next Tuesday and, you know, going like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, I, I didn't mean it. Sorry. And then when we were driving home, my mom was so pissed. She just says, I'm going to burn that little bitch's house down. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I she, didn't. She didn't, to be fair. My mom's not, you know, pro arson. It was just yeah. a thought. Yeah. The next question, number two, is tell a funny story about the other person. Okay, there's many about Emily because she's funny. But um, she was about three years old and eating a piece of banana cream pie. And she thought it was called banana scream pie. And she took a bite of the meringue and said to her dad, Daddy, is this the scream? There's a million stories like that. And did, didn't it get in the newspaper? Yeah, and we sent it in the newspaper and they published it. <laughs> That's how much of a fucking idiot I was. No. No. <laughs> I was three. Um, and then a funny story for me. So uh, growing up, my mom was kind of the, the main person who took care of the house. And I believe dad and I made something and we didn't do the dishes or something and mom was really frustrated and she was like complaining and you guys never do it you just you leave everything out and I'm always the one to pick it up and this is when the new um shiny pennies were released and they have the new backs and she's just like mad and yelling at us and like I just I'm so tired have you guys seen the back of the new pennies <laughs> like it was just it was day and night she was so pissed and then she just opens her hand and there's just the two pennies there <laughs> And it's like, wait, what? Wait, like it gave us fucking whiplash. <laughs> and I'm just so tired. Have you guys seen the back of the new pennies? And just pennies. And <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> oh, man. The next question is, what would this person order at the bar? So implying like an alcoholic beverage. Emily would order a Shirley Temple. No, um, <laughs> a Merlot. Yeah. Or Any red wine. Yeah. Really. Raspberry lemonade yeah. or a dirty Shirley. Yeah, that's with that. So that's basically just vodka and grenadine. So just vodka and sugar, and it's kind of gross. It tastes like cough syrup, but it sounds delicious. Gets the job done. Um, and then my mom would probably order like a Coors Light or a, like a beer, like a Coors Light or uh, a white wine or uh, Chardonnay, obviously, or or you like champagne on oh, Saturdays. I can't yes. believe we forgot about that. Champagne Saturdays. Champagne Saturdays. Oh, yeah. 
That would probably be about right. The next question, which is question number four, is if you had to rename me, what would you name me? She would have been Sarah if she'd been born ten years earlier, but then I named a cat Sarah because I got tired <laughs> of waiting for a girl. So I couldn't name her the same name as the cat. Well, I could have, but that would have been weird. Yeah. <laughs> my daughter's name is Sarah, and so is my cat. And so is my other cat. And then, I, I don't, you, you're... You're too fitting. Julie is too fitting for you. So I would probably just combine your first and middle name, which is Julie Ann. And if you guys didn't notice, I do have a tattoo of a heart and a banner on my uh, left side of my body. And it's empty. And I'm going to actually get Julie Ann tattooed in there. Not that my mom is overly supportive of my tattoos or anything, but I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind if it has my name. Yeah. <laughs> the next question is, what's a weird habit the other person has? Ugh. She pops her ankle and it, it like makes this click sound and she does it over and over and over. Like it's, it's sickening. Yeah. I know it is. Kind of bizarre. And I've done it ever since I was little. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> My mom collects what is it, composition baby doll heads. Like little heads from baby dolls, the kind that you tilt on the back and they close their eyes and like some antique antique ones and especially if like the eyes are missing I'm looking at one two three four four of them right now it's terrifying I'll insert a picture here that's that's my mom's fireplace no we're not there's no sa Satan worshiping going no, on in this no, household no. but if you needed a place to perform a seance this is kind of the place to do it here. the next question is give five words to describe the other person all right this is tough number one creative but you already knew that about Emily she's creative she's um, compassionate nurturing funny uh, beautiful sounds so cheesy but inside and out she really is her good heart I just love her good heart oh and that was more than five things and I could go on and on <laughs> and I could do um, for her the first one would probably be uh, creative too my mom's super creative very DIY creative um, smart, strong, um, super organized, I think that kind of goes with smart, but organized, uh, well put together, and then obviously my mom's a stone cold fox, so beautiful, inside out, same thing, yeah, <laughs> um, so that was kind of, we have similar ones, I think, for, yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah, well, we love each other, so what do you expect? We do. The next question, question number eight is, what qualities do we share? We share uh, creativity. Definitely. We share twisted senses of humor. Yeah, really all sorts of fucked up. Um, in a good way. In a good way. And we share... Um, we're we walk the same. We walk the same. We're super organized. Yes. Super neat and tidy. We're both nurturing. Incredibly motherly. Sometimes, I think I said this, sometimes at our own expense, we've both kind of been effed over by people before because we put them first we always put other people first and kind of put ourselves last but we've learned not to do that yeah we will uh, sometimes <laughs> yeah I think pretty much all our really good qualities are the qualities that we share mm -hmm. that sounds about right yep just kidding this is question number eight what's a pet peeve of this person one of Emily's pet peeves is when she sees someone being rude or disrespectful to a retail employee or a fast food restaurant employee or a waiter waitress whatever anybody that's just working you should always be respectful and kind to it doesn't matter if it's even if a janitor, a janitor or if it's the president of the United States yeah. you treat them the same yeah I think it's really telling when a person is a dick to unless the waiter's like a huge asshole yes and even then it's like I'm still trying to it's almost like maintaining professionalism wherever you go yes yeah um and then a pet peeve of my mom's one that I that's one for me too. Yeah, you don't like that either. Uh, but one that has been pounded into my head, so now it's a pet peeve of mine as well, is when someone borrows something and doesn't put it back because little Emily was a little bit notorious for taking scissors into her bedroom or tape and not putting it back. And that was a really big pet peeve of my mom's. Mm -hmm. That was a huge one. Yes. So, but I, I do it now. Borrow my shit, put it back. Yeah. Or shoes or something like that. Yeah. And yep. I'm cool. <laughs> Next question is, what are some nicknames, nicknames, nicknames we have for one another? Oh, I, I've called Emily Bubba forever and Buggy 
and Boo and Bubba's the main one. Bubs, Bubba, Buggy, all bunch of bees. Little fucking shit. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> bring me, bring Mama her schnapps. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba, Mama needs a drink. <laughs> um, and then obviously Mommy, Mom, Mama turned into Baba, mm-hmm. Baba bombs. Um, in my phone, she's not mommy dearest, but mother dearest. Um, and when I can't get, get her attention, I'll, I'll, I'll call her Julie or Jules. But uh, yeah, I think most kids don't have that many nicknames for their mother. I think it's just mommy and not to my face anyway. Uh, the next question, which is number 11, is what is your favorite activity to do together? Shopping. shopping. That's something we shopping, definitely... Shopping, shopping, shopping. Yeah. Growing up, I was such a tomboy. I hated shopping. It was my least she favorite did. activity. And I think you were disappointed. I almost put her up for adoption. <laughs> I was just about to say, you almost gave me back. Here, I don't like, want yeah, it. I don't want it. It won't shop. <laughs> it's drawing, it's scribbling on my <laughs> Madame Alexander dolls. Yes, with a black Sharpie, little brat. I know. I actually, actually 100% did that. Yep. But only as I got older. Only doll she ever had. Only doll I ever had. And it looked, looked like it went through a wicked hangover. Yes. Um... Shopping and we like to eat. eat. Gosh, we're pretty. We kind of, and we like lazy. We like to get cozy and get on our computers or our phones and just kind of lounge. Look shit up. Yeah. Yeah. We like that. Yeah, we do. But aren't you glad I grew into shopping though? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so. Well, just a little. You can't be goth and not be into shopping. All right, the last question and question number 12 is what is your favorite thing about the other person? Oh, God. Oh, I have so many. Her, just her kind heart. She's super sensitive and uh, she wants to help everybody and she will spring into action if she's, for instance, let's say she's out shopping and she sees an elderly woman that needs help down the steps. She'd be the first one there. She's just a sweetheart. And then there's a million other things I love about her, but that's huge. Yeah, I almost helped someone uh, get something out of their mower on my walk. I think I told you the woman. Out of their mower? Yeah, they was stuck, and I said, "Cat." Yeah, I know. (laughs) Oh, is that your? Is that your finger? Is Um, that meow meow? (laughs) (laughs) Oh man, that. Oh meow meow. I don't think. I'm like, oh my god, is it okay? (laughs) Um, my favorite thing, and I I thought about this while I was on my walk today, is growing up um, in the the early '90s. A lot. it, It was still a lot of my friends moms were housekeepers and that was it they didn't really have really strong personalities or motivation so growing up um you know it was in the household that it was the man who made the decision and in my household it wasn't that it wasn't that way at all my mom was a super strong uh independent just hard working bitchy <laughs> well sometimes you gotta be a bitch to get what you need to get done and that's something I, I don't think I'd be a dominant, strong woman today if it weren't for my mom. So I think my favorite quality of my mom is her her strength and her ability to stay firm and, and you know, not be a fucking pansy pushover. Because mm-hmm. you you don't, yeah. Well, what did I say that one time? I said, um, if my mom's your friend, she's your best friend, she'll have your back. But if you, you know, cross my mom, that's it. Like, you, you are blacklisted because that's just not... You, you don't fuck with you you don't fuck with no body but <laughs> yeah my mom's straight hood so you know yeah right. straight from Oak Town no kidding <laughs> Oak Town's I think Oakland actually but um yeah so that was the tag and I hope you guys learned a little bit more about me and a little bit more about my mom mm-hmm. and mom's a little camera shy but maybe one day in the future maybe get bring her on I'll, I'll maybe put a couple pictures up of your choosing so okay. people know what you look like that works but um i hope you guys enjoyed me and yeah. mama artful doing that thank you guys so much for watching and don't, don't forget, forget to, to stay, stay out, out of trouble. trouble see you guys later bye